First, welcome Kelly Asbury with the SFCC Small Business Technology Development Center. Put your hands together for Kelly, please. Good morning, everybody. A little bit more chipper than that. <laughs> everybody hear me okay? Okay, I have been told to slow down and not talk so fast because my concern was that I would be over in three minutes. So today I'm here to talk to you about the Launch You program that is coming up. It is our second annual uh, here at State Fair Community College. Launch You is design, designed for entrepreneurs and small business owners. Uh, typically six months or less in business or not open at all, it's just an idea. Um, what it does is it takes the participants from um, that idea phase or that very early stage uh, through the feasibility study and finally deciding if their idea is a go or a no-go. Um, in a few cases, we have had some no-goes. However, they spent just a very small amount of money instead of investing their life savings uh, into something that they figured out might not work. So um, at the end of the program, Launch you participants will have completed or nearly completed an SBA approved uh, business plan using the cloud based software called Live Plan. Um, the, the participants receive instruction from a certified facilitator. I got a certification for Launch You, I guess it's been about a year and a half ago, through Southeast Missouri State University, um, who originated the Launch You program. Um, they also get feedback in small groups, so there's a lot of small group activities where they're able to really kind of feed off of each other, share ideas, share concerns, um, and really kind of grow from each other and um, each other's ideas and thoughts and um, perceptions of how their ideas may or may not work. Um, they get insights from local experts, which that's part of the reason I'm here today. Um, I am looking for those experts to come and speak. If you are interested, please get a hold of me. Um, I'm looking for an attorney, a lender, somebody in accounting and marketing. Actually, I think might have that accounting covered, but she's looking at a paper right now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, with the with the launch you program, they also get a. I forgot the handbook. I was going to bring a copy of the handbook. Um, it's actually a pretty thick textbook. There's a lot of information that's covered. Um, which I'm sure you can imagine when you're opening a business, there needs to be a lot of information covered. Um, like I said, there is access to live plan. Live plan is um, it's a very handy tool to create a business plan. Uh, the advantages of live plan is if you run into issues, um, I can go to the cloud and look at the live plan as well as um, make comments on there and um, it gives me the option to edit. I don't edit anybody's business plan because it's not mine. Uh, but it is nice because I don't have to be in the same room with a person uh, going through the program if they're doing their homework and run into an issue later on. So um, they also get access to market research through our uh, Small Business and Technology Development Center. I know a few of you have um, seen some of the market research that, that we've provided and it's pretty incredible. Um, the resources that we are we are able to provide to our to our clients and our participants. Um, so there's all, obviously with those coaches. Um, I say the coaches, the the uh, attorney, lender, the experts in the field. Uh, typically, they make themselves available outside of the particular training that they're teaching um, to also coach, um, give them feedback, um, and just make themselves available for uh, the completion of the program and make sure that they have all the answers that they need from those experts. Um, so at the end, well, I should back up. So the Launch You program training is, it's a mini boot camp. It lasts about six weeks, or it does last six weeks. It's a Tuesday, Thursday setup from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Um, our next class begins on March 26th with a graduation date uh, pitch competition of May 2nd. Uh, we also provide, throughout these trainings on those Tuesday, Thursdays, we provide food for the participants because we most of the time they're coming straight from work. Um, it is a labor-intensive program. 
I like to tell everybody that, that decides that they want to do this, number one, if you're opening a business, and a lot of people in here have businesses, it is not for the light at heart. It's hard work, and so is this program. So if you are working a full-time job and you're doing this, there's a lot of outside work in addition to that, but it's a pretty good training program to get you ready to go into owning a business anyway because you're on call 24-7 when you own a business. So, um, What else? The price for the program is $250 for each participant. Um, that is the entire training, everything included, um, certification at the end, and of course your pitch competition. Um, I'm also looking for sponsors for, um, for prizes for the pitch competition. Last year we had judges, we had a panel of judges for them. Um, I've re redesigned that a little bit and this last go round, which was in Lake of the Ozarks, um, I actually had the participants judge each other and it was awesome because they were very very frank with each other, but, but at that point you have to understand the relationships that they have built amongst each other. Um, so they're very frank, they're very fair. Um, you probably think, okay, you're gonna have them judge each other, why wouldn't I vote for myself? They don't have that option. Um, so they, they're only judging the other people. And um, it turned out beautiful because the person that really should have won it did win it. Um, and you don't get outside influence <clears throat> and I say this because I had one incident, um, I cautiously say this, um, where I had a graduate that won, won the program, did a beautiful job, um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say anything more. Um, probably should have been a couple of the others. There wasn't as much work put into the live plan, the business plan, the getting themselves ready, but nobody in the room knew that except the participants and they weren't the ones judging that time. So that being said, I've redesigned that to where we don't have the judges anymore. So um, we have scheduled two mixer events. Um, one is February 6th, one is February 20th. Both of them from 6 to 7.30 in the Fielding 253 room. Um, those mixer events are really to give the, the groundwork uh, for the participants that are interested, um, let them answer que or ask questions, get the answers that they need, so they go into it with eyes wide open, knowing what's expected of them. They get to meet the uh, experts in the field that are, that are going to be teaching them. They get to meet other, other participants that are gonna be with them and uh, just have a clear vision uh, when they apply for this program. It is an application process. You see the applications on the table. Um, that application is to get the ones that are really serious about going into business um, selected, and ones that aren't so serious don't make it into the program um, because the ones that are serious don't need to be held back, I guess, um, by ones that aren't, so. Um, so statistics, we've had three launch you trainings. So far we've had one at, uh, of course we had one here last year, we've had one in Tipton, and we've had one at the Lake of the Ozarks in Sunrise Beach. Of those trainings, there have been a total of 19 participants. Of those, 12 have gone on to open businesses, three are pending right now, and four have opted to do other things. Um, again, like I said, they, they, they figured out ahead of time that it either wasn't what they wanted to do when they got really got into it and checked it out, or it wasn't feasible and they are rethinking. Um, all 19 completed the, and graduated the program though. So with that, I think I've covered all of my notes. Uh, probably tripped up a couple of times. What kind of questions do we have? So in your launch, you ask classes. Mm -hmm. Have you had some who we're going to invest in an existing business, or were these all people with brand new business ideas? Um, as far as purchasing a business, I don't think I've had anybody that wanted to purchase a business. They were, they were all ideas. I have had three go through the program that, um, I'm sorry, two, that had already existing businesses. 
One had been in business two months and one had been in business for five months. Um, both of those two, actually they just graduated at, at uh, Lake of the Ozarks right before Christmas and are going gangbusters now with what they've learned, um, re-strategizing and it's amazing to watch them. Beautiful. Yes. Having participation from folks who are getting out of the Air Force from Whiteman and looking for something new? I haven't yet. Um, typically the, the military that I come into contact with is, is through the Boots to Business program. Um, and I have, I've gotten some clients from that particular program, but I haven't had anybody go through the Launch You program yet. I don't think. No, I haven't. So, Brandy? Hey, um, what kind of prizes do you want? What kind of prizes you've offered? <laughs> so, well, typically the prizes that we're looking for, that was a really good question, thank you, um, is something that is going to be related to their business, something that can help maybe offset a cost or um, maybe it's a service that you can provide or, you know, cash is always good. They love cash because what's the one thing that new business owners are short on is cash. Um, but I'm not going to turn down anything. I mean, a nice horseback riding event would, I'm sure, would be a nice relaxing thing to do after they busted their tail in that program. So. We can also do like a vacation or like a mini, you know, nice. a staycation. That'd be nice. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Other questions? Yes. Shelly, I compliment you. You do an excellent job with the program. Oh, thank you. Uh, would you mind sharing uh, with the rest of the crowd here your background, which really makes you suitable for this? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I have a wide background. <clears throat> so I've been an entrepreneur the majority of my life. Um, I was a hairstylist for 25 years. I owned a salon. I don't know if any of you remember Utopia Salons Bond. Hanning was behind Mazio's. At our peak, we had about 20 employees. Um, went into it without a business plan. I know that's what you're wanting me to tell. <laughs> without a business plan, without any plan at all. Um, quite frankly, I had been out of the hair business for about two years. I was working with my husband at the time doing construction. Wide variety background, I'm telling you. Um, but I never lost the love. I never lost the passion for the hair business, um, for the salon business. And I drove past that property on January 2nd. And that's been, wow, that's been 14 years ago. Um, drove past it, backed up, called my husband and said, I'm getting ready to call a real estate agent. If you want part of this, you better get over here. And he did beat the real estate agent. But uh, six weeks later, we opened full bore. We had major reconstruction that we had to do. Um, lots of equipment. Um, we had eight stations. We had a nail tech station. We had a massage therapist, an uh, esthetician, and a six bed tanning salon that used to be a shed. So there was a lot of things that took place from January 2nd to February 12th. When I told my husband I wanted to open February 12th, he told me I'd lost my mind. And I said, no, we just won't sleep. And we didn't. So um, I was determined and it was a beautiful, Beautiful thing because it was the hardest lesson I'd ever learned in my life. Um, the lack of planning, the I can open a salon I've done here for so many years. Yeah, I hadn't done payroll, I hadn't done the taxes, um, I hadn't managed 20 employees. Um, school of Hard Knocks was probably the best school I've been through. Then we sold and I uh, went back and got a degree. Had a lot to offer in those, those classes, so. Um, Anyway, it was, it was a beautiful thing, but I know firsthand without planning, um, you can run into a lot of problems. 2007 was probably the biggest lesson. We opened in 2005. And 2007, of course, the bottom dropped out. Our plan B, which we really didn't have a plan B, but what, was, what turned out to be the plan B was my uh, husband's construction business, which in 2007 was very poor. Um, Bottom line is we made it through it, and we made it through it well, but it was tough. It was really tough. So I do feel like I've got a, a few qualifications um, just from my experience. 
that I can tell people, <laughs> back up, you got to think. <laughs> so anyway, that's my story. Other questions? You make it easy, honey. Kelly, uh, you've been here before. You know the last question, but, but what can one million cups do? So get the word out that we are looking for applicants. Um, get the word out that we are looking for sponsors, uh, sponsors for the pitch competition. Of course, I'm looking for sponsors to offset um, scholarships. So if you're interested in that, please get with me. Um, scholarships, I like to offer small scholarships. I feel like it's very important for the participants to have skin in the game. Um, if somebody's paying for the entire $250, there's not a lot of incentive to come to class. If you got a little skin in the game, you're more apt to come to class. Um, yeah, participants, sponsors, prizes. Um, and if you're interested in being one of those expert speakers, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you.